down here. Beautiful day. It's probably the best day we've had in I don't know how long. But uh, no wind today. It's going to be in the 60s. It's probably about 48 right now, and it's just a beautiful day. I'm down here at Silver Bend again. I'm down here at uh, Lester and Elvira Platt's home, home place back in the 1840s. Back there is a little grove of trees, and I think, from what I understand, is the house, and of course it was rebuilt from a log house, and it was more modernized, and I got a picture of that house, was someplace back out in here. Back in the far distance over there is Nebraska City. It looks to be, you know, four miles away, five miles away. That's probably where the uh, people would have crossed over there if they were looking to escape slavery and cross there at Nebraska City, or they may have crossed up here a little bit further onto the river. They're either there at Wyoming Landing or Lambert's Landing, something like that. So um, I'm gonna go and look and see if I can find anything out here. And if I do, I'll get back to you. Okay, uh, I'm kind of changed things right here. This is a little gravelly area. And I've been around here picking up all kinds of pottery and glass. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, the metal detector, every once in a while I found a piece of metal, some old stuff. Um, this is kind of what we're talking about right in here. Just little bottles and little, little bits and pieces. So that's kind of interesting. I thought I'd look a little bit more in here and see if we can find some more stuff. It gets worked up to the surface. I was told this is where the old house was, back where the scrabble and stuff was. So it's kind of interesting, but you know, every time you work it, it stuff just keeps coming up to the surface. Like here's a piece of pottery right here. Something right here, a little piece of, little piece of pottery right here. Ceramic something. There's another one right here. Oh, then I found part of a bottle or something right here. It's like a piece of glass. All kinds of it. What I was really looking for were those nice blue painted pieces of cups and saucers. And I found a few of them. Looking down here, and lo and behold, but I found a button I'm down here at Civil Bend. Lots of glassware here, and right there is a button. Don't know anything about the age, but I'm gonna pick that baby up. Just picked this up off the field. And the little inkwell had a little stone in it. That's interesting. I mean, there's some stuff out here. I'm going to look a little bit longer, see if I can't pick up. This is an old one. It's in pretty nice shape. You usually find it something completely tough. I'm going to let it go. We'll see what happens again in the future. Okay, we've got some more finds down here. We're getting the mother load right here. I got another little ink bottle, I think. It's busted, but it's still an ink ball. Chipped up a little bit. And then over here, I believe I found a marble. Right here. It's a marble. Oh my goodness gracious, a dinky one. But it is a marble. Man, oh man, oh man. This is fantastic. Been down here a little over an hour and uh, found a bunch of stuff, a lot of a lot of pottery shards, and I thought this was some cool stuff for about an hour. Uh, old, some old horseshoe, some other old implements, some tack from horses, but uh, a lot of metal shards, old stop topper off a bottle. Some of the 
this nice, nice looking stuff right here. Good stuff. Couple of pieces of pottery, nice blue, nice blue on that stuff. So overall, nice little find. Pulling down here a little bit, down at the plat location down here. Person. Gonna put another little quick look at some of the finds down there from the Platt house and remembering that we're looking at you know 1842 up into you know the 1930s or 40s until the house was knocked down and there's a lot of newer stuff in there people came and went but I'm basically gonna look at a few of the items I have here that I haven't already looked at now, as far as metal and so forth down there one of the items that I found was well, this old, it looks like it's got something to do with a boat. You know, maybe a, a little fitting for the oar or something like that. I found that out in the field. Just sit right there and the, it's like an oar lock and put that in there and away you went. So, we know they had boats down there, like an insulator. It used to be hanging, I don't know if it was for electric fans or, you know, a phone line or something like that. Found that out there. Pretty nice little piece. Another little piece of some porcelain or something like that. Of course, eventually there was some kind of firing in the area. Here's some glass, some pieces of glass here that are all bent. I think they were exposed to extreme heat down there at one time. Looking at some more I don't know if we got to call it brownware or whatever. If you notice the little pieces in there, probably something dug and done, you know, maybe locally or something like that. Obviously, again, redware, some glazed, and the, the finish of the glazing on there, some crackling. Old Coke bottle, top of an old Coke bottle. Found this out there in the in the field. Something a little bit new newer. Homer Laughlin, made in the United States of America. That's something a little bit newer out there. One of the things that cleaned up that bottle that I found in that field. This is the old uh, ink bottle. Got that nice little been on the sun, got a little like violet color to it. Same can be said about this glassware. It's got a little violet color to it. It's more redware. These two pieces, I got a feeling these two pieces went together. It's very possible. Probably a pretty nice find right here. This is a sharpening stone. At least a piece and portion of it. Sharpening knives and other implements like that. Found that in the field. That's probably pretty old. A couple of matching pieces right here of 
maybe off the same pot. I'm sure that they probably were. I'm looking at the patterns. That's a little more unusual. Obviously, they don't fit together, but. Something just like that and fit right together. Who knows? There's a third piece right here. I'm sure these three pieces went together. All found in the field down there at the plants. Probably something a little bit newer, not really that old. So I still got a lot of stuff here, saved it all. Something that Little odds and ends that pick up down the field. If they could talk. Oh. Old spark plug off an old tractor or something like that. Found that too. 